think when I look through the camera that I'm looking through it not only with my eyes but with something very deep inside my being. Part of myself is to a large extent hidden, I suppose, or, or at least submerged. When I look through a lens, it's there with me. It has to be. So, yeah, when I look through a lens, the part of me that I feel is the deep, resounding part, the part where my values come from, is um, closer to the surface, is, is, is looking through the lens with me. Exhibiting with Rob and Wolfie and Simon was an incredible honour, unbelievable, it made me feel surreal, but also terrified. Um, to be exhibiting for the very first time, to have no idea how my work was going to stand up, no one's confident, I don't think, of their work, especially at the outset. And to be exhibiting against these sort of giants, these people that I consider to be in the stratosphere, or not against but with them, it was, as I said, terrifying. But, um, but in, in, it was a great thrill. There's a strong connection here. It's hard to define. There are amazing areas of wilderness in Tasmania and it's a place I enjoy to be. It's a place where I wake up in the morning here and I'm very lucky to, and my soul feels uplifted. I'd like to, so I'd like to combine landscape photography with travel photography and ultimately wilderness photography or wildlife photography should I say. What I'd really like is, I'd like it to go all over the world, I'd, and I'd like it, I'd like to start writing um, and combine it because I'd like for it to be published in um, magazines with articles about the places that I go to. I'd like to start that when I go to Ladakh this year. That's the aim of that, is to um, take images of Ladakh and combine it with some writing to create a cohesive thing, a package that I can um, get published. But ultimately I just like it to get better and better.